Welcome to Claim to the Fame. Charlie Haas calls our theme, what, the haunting love theme. From Claim, from to, claim fame. to Fame. Yeah. Welcome to the show that tries to determine if our panelists are in this country legally. <laughs> and let's meet our panelists, the people whose job it is to determine claims to fame. News Center 4 author, commentator, rap man, producer, and recorder, <laughs> Wayne Shannon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Next to Rainbow, fashion producer, Ann Jones, fashion editor of Focus Magazine, and a lovely green outfit for those of you with black and white television. <laughs> Writer Charlie Haas, ladies and gentlemen, just back from an extensive trip. Just flew in last night, and boy, your arms, arms are, are tired. Man. And Ruby Peterson, host of KCBS Radio Night News. Welcome, Ruby. Here's how we play the game. Meet to our contestants. The folks who actually play the game try to spell out the word fame. Our panel tries to stop them by correctly guessing their claim to fame. The panel is given a maximum of three clues, the opportunity to question each guest, Every time the panel guesses wrong, the contestant wins a letter. For instance, the letter F. And each letter is worth, uh, and how much is each letter F worth? F is worth 50. The 50, and the A is worth uh, another 50. Right, right. So if a contestant wins all four letters, spelling out F-A-M-E, they get uh, $200 and a bonus prize of what, Ruby? Uh, lottery tickets. 50 a lot of, of them. Time to bring down our first guest. We, we bring him down from the audience. His name is Dave. Dave, come on down here. right up there, Dave. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Panel, your chance for a free guest. One of you. Take a look at Dave. What do you think is claim to fame? Is? Are you the man who sells makeup by the pound <laughs> to Tammy Faye Baker? <laughs> Not, this week. Not this week. No, no. Dave has a claim to fame. Here is the first of three clues, panel, for Dave's claim to fame. Clue number one. I work in a dark little hole in the wall. I work in a dark little hole in the wall. Here is clue number two, which only the audience here in the studio and you folks at home will get to see. Only you. A lot of people come to see my Da Vinci design. We begin with four questions in the first round of questioning. And the first one from Wayne Shannon. Dave, does your claim to fame have something to do with um, digging a well? No. Not at all. Ann Jones. This place you work, does it have anything to do with the theater or entertainment? Yes. Very good. Charlie Haas? Does it have to do with live performances? Yes. Ruby Peterson? Uh, Dave, does your claim to fame have something to do with a tourist attraction? Yes, it does. Very good. Very, very, very good, panel. In fact, very, 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 very good. Too Go good. ahead and take your first conference. 20 seconds. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's some sort of... Uh, That's what I could do. Looking. Oh, settle down. No. It could, it could, it, we could be talking about a baseball game. Well, it's probably game. something on Broadway. Something. Live performance. Look, it could, it could, if a like baseball a game, game, he could be the organist. The, the, he might be a puppeteer. A puppet What's at the clip? It's a, it's a, it's a thing that you look through. And live... Conference number one is up. Wayne Shannon. The, the panel believes, not me, but the panel believes, Dave, that you have something to do with the, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> something, a peep show. A, a peep show? I need a little clarification. A peep show in the sense of what? Of, of a really good peep show. <laughs> yes. For instance, a peep yes. show along it's Broadway. Along something Broadway, we might, yes. yes. It is a good peep show, yes. yes but it, it has yes. nothing to do nothing with the peep shows along Broadway. Broadway. That it's is half and $50 today. Yeah. Here's clue number two, which you've already seen. You have it. Clue number two for Dave's claim to fame. A lot of people come to see my Da Vinci design. A lot of people come to see my Da Vinci design. Here is clue number three, which only you folks in the audience and at home will get to see. My specialty is light entertainment. Two questions this time, Anne, the first one from you. Does this have something to do, Dave, with a peep show that might have, uh, in, when you look in, you might see the Mona Lisa? Yes. But not really in this instance. I hate Yes, Patrick. really in this instance. <laughs> Just turn on it. It finally <laughs> happened to you for a change. It did. Okay, I'll give him a qualified yes on that. Uh, very good then, Ann. Charlie? Does your, does your uh, 
uh, function in this job have to do with the uh, the physical decoration of the place? Yes. Okay. I uh, hope he knows what he's talking about. Time for your second conference. 20 seconds to what see if you can come up with it. Okay. What I think is that Dave thinks we're all Cam crazy. Camera, camera obscura. obscura. Yeah. Yeah. Camera obscura? Yeah. Yes. It's pretty obscure to you, I know. I but completely. It's, that's right. It's, something, it's a dark yeah. hole that you look through when you see uh, objects to art. Or really, we can't hear. Oh, let's go right. for it. I don't want you to hear me. <laughs> okay, Ann Jones, what do you think? Uh, this is possibly for an A and a hundred dollars. What do you think Dave's claim go to fame is? Thanks to Ruby, who is our main leading panelist today, we feel that you have you are the person behind Camera Obscura, which is something at the Cliff House. Right. That's absolutely good. right. Very good. Dave is David Warren. He's the operator of Camera Obscura at the Cliff House. If you have not had a chance to go out and see that, you must do it. But i got to get a clarification here. What is the Mona Lisa? Is, is there a copy of the Mona Lisa? We just installed the big picture, life-size picture of the Mona Lisa behind the entrance to the camera. I so see. when you come up to get your ticket, you're going to be looking right in the Mona's eyes. Oh, well, ah. well. Patrick. Thank oh, goodness. I'm psychic. You, uh, right. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some tape from the Camera Obscura, because this really is amazing if you have not been there. And this tape is, is pretty good. This is, of course, the outside of, uh, of the Cliff House. Now, the camera is not located. Is the camera located on the Cliff House? It's on the lower terrace behind the Cliff House, on overlooking the Seal Rocks. Oh, so it overlooks Seal Rocks. Uh, and that's, that's actually the camera itself right there? Yes. The top of the camera. Now... That camera revolves around, and if you go in the Cliff House on this big, whatever it is, you see scenes like this, which are actually better than if you saw them with the naked eye. Is that right? Well, it eliminates all the ultraviolet rays, so all the glaze is gone, all the cliff, the glare is gone, and you see a pure picture, distilled, if you will. Uh, uh, distilled, in other words, like you're in a you're in a dark you can drink environment. This picture, right? you can, <laughs> Ruby says you can drink this picture. Yeah. Uh, how long have, have you been doing this? How long has that, that thing Next been month there? will be my 10th year. 10 years? Of, but the, has the Camera Obscura been there that long? It's been there for almost 40 years now. And the design was something that Da Vinci came up with. Correct. What does it cost to get into the Cliff House? One dollar for adults and 50 cents for children. And it, under 12. It is worth it. If you've seen it on Bay Area Backroads, they featured it, in, and it, it is just absolutely fascinating. David Warren, thanks a lot. They were too sharp for you today. We've only got yep, 50 bucks. Sure were. Thanks for being here. We'll be right back with round two. That's, uh, that's really interesting stuff.